Greetings. This lesson is part of the full iMovie for iOS tutorial available at themacu.com. To view all of our hundreds of lessons on how to use your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, become an All Access member. Utilize the coupon code TUBE20 for a 20% discount on any membership option. Thanks for watching. The Magic Movie Project option is the quickest and most simple way to assemble multiple clips into a movie. All we need to do is select the clips to include, and then iMovie is going to build the movie with a title graphic, transitions, and background music. So let's tap to start a Magic Movie Project. On the next screen, we need to select the clips to add from our Photos Library. For Magic Movie and Storyboard projects, we can only select clips that are saved in our Photos app. With a Timeline Movie, we are able to select clips from the Files app as well. So in Photos, I already have an album made called Deadwood Reservoir Weekend. Tap on the album here, and I'm able to select individual photos or videos to add to the project. Or I can tap the Create Magic Movie from this album option to use all the items in this album. When I do that, iMovie gets to work creating the movie. How long this will take will depend on how many clips were selected and which device you're using. Once completed, the clips are displayed in the sidebar to the left with the first clip in the movie on top. Over on the iPhone in Portrait Orientation, the list of clips appears below the video. iMovie assembled these clips in chronological order, which is clear from the date and time information that's presented. We can also quickly see if a clip is a still photo or a video with these icons, and below those icons is how long each clip is visible within the movie. In the video player to the right, we can see that the assembled movie is only 24 seconds long. Tap play to watch it. Okay, so that's not bad for a quick video that I might want to share with friends via iMessage or on social media. But a few of the clips go by too quick and need to be extended or slowed down. I also might want to adjust the title style that we see at the beginning. To do that, I'll need to tap on the Magic Movie icon up here. This gives us a variety of title styles that we can use and below we can adjust the background music, font, and color. I'm going to switch this to the journal style and then tap the font button and we can select from five different options here. To make a change, tap the option that you want, then be sure to tap the done button. Next, I'll pick a different color for the font. From the music button, we can choose from a list of iMovie soundtracks or from our own music library. Tap on an option to preview it. And to use the selected track, tap the add button. Finally, over in the filter button, we can choose an effect that will be applied to all the clips in the movie. I'm going to stick with no effects on this one. Tap Done and those changes are made in the movie. Next, with this first clip selected, let's tap on the pencil icon. From here, we can edit the clip, replace it with a different still or video, or use the camera on our device to shoot a new still or video to use in this clip. I just want to edit the current clip. That brings us into a simplified movie timeline. To extend or shorten a clip, 
tap and drag on either of the yellow handles. At the top of the video, we're able to see the duration of the clip change. Tap and drag to scrub through the entire movie. Tap on another clip to select it. Tap play to view the movie from that clip. When a clip is selected, we can adjust it with the tools available below. Tap Titles, and we can add a title graphic with custom text to the selected clip. Once the title style is added, just tap on it to edit the text within it. For this clip, I want to shorten the front end to move the start point forward then extend the back end of the clip so we have a better view of the water. We can also hear the audio of the clip, which in this case is crunching footsteps. With the clip selected, tap the sound button, and we're able to adjust both the volume of the clip audio and the volume of the background music. So if there was someone speaking in this clip, and I wanted to hear them better, I could dial back the background music. In this case, I want to reduce the volume of the clip audio to get rid of the crunching footsteps. We can also quickly record a voiceover for a clip. First, I'm going to extend this clip. Then with it selected, tap the voiceover button. Once ready, start recording. We had a great paddle on this super calm morning. Once recorded, I can review the voiceover and either retake it or accept it. Tap the back button to return to all the clips. I'm going to want to reduce the volume of the music behind the voiceover here. We had a great paddle on this super calm morning. Another way to extend a clip is to slow it down. With this last clip selected, I'll tap the speed button and reduce it to two-thirds speed, which will extend the clip, which ends the movie with a fade out. Tap the back button to get out to the main Magic Movie screen, and we can review the fully edited movie. We had a great paddle on this super calm morning. So Magic Movie can be a great way to quickly assemble a set of clips into a movie that can then either be saved or shared with friends. Next up, we'll look at how to use the storyboard project option.